It's homecoming week at Celine High School, a very busy and fun week for all the students. We sat down with some student council members to discuss just what exactly goes on during this exciting week. It starts on Sunday, and Sunday is our Powder Puff event, and that is when we have um, uh, girls at our school sign up to play in their class team, and they play flag football, and that's when we announce our homecoming candidates as well. And then uh, Monday starts Spirit Day, which is Pajama Day, and then it goes to Beach Day, and then on Wednesday it's Decades Day, and Thursday it's College Day, which is basically like Thursday, Thursday. And then Friday is Class Color or Blue and Gold Day. And then we finish the Friday with the assembly we have, and then we also have the parade in court, um, going through the parade all day, and then the big homecoming football game, which we announce the float winners to, and then we also have homecoming on Saturday. I'd say that's pretty rowdy here at the high school during the Spirit Week. Um, it's really fun experience. I think everyone enjoys it. Um, there is uh, just a lot of fun, a lot of craziness. Usually teachers don't assign homework a lot, Hopefully. so that's always good. We try to make everything like around the students. So like all of our games for pep assembly, we want to make sure that the students are having fun. And even for like the homecoming dance, we want to make sure that like the actual day of the dance is fun for everybody and everybody can have like a great time. So hopefully it'll work out as planned this year. Well, let's go see how this homecoming week went. At the annual girls powder puff game, the first teams to play is the freshmen versus the seniors. We go down and talk to the teams to see how they are feeling. What's your guys' game strategy? Uh, find the ball and then you tackle them. <laughs> uh, go out there and do what we do. <laughs> you guys have any uh, special plays you're holding back on? Uh, we leave that for our team to know. Championship game. See that. What's your guys' comeback strategy for the second half? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna <laughs> use some interceptions, yeah. have our offense score. We're yeah. gonna work hard. Yeah. You know, we just we just gotta we just gotta listen to our coaches and we just gotta get focused and pay attention in these timeouts like we're calling one right now. We just gotta get we just gotta get we're not mentally prepared. We just gotta get focused and we'll be good. After seniors won the first game. We looked to the stands to talk to the community members about why they enjoyed coming to the Powder Puff Games. Who are you guys here supporting? Seniors. Seniors? Seniors. Do you guys have daughters out there? Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, I think the game is good. It's fun. It's fun now. The, I think the, the freshmen need to wide the field. Yeah. The second game starts, and now it's the juniors versus the sophomores. We go back to the field to get insight on how the teams are doing. But how are you guys going to win this game? Um, Why not? Teamwork. Yeah, try teamwork. our best. Uh, really, Emma? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, strong defense, strong offense, just strong all around. All right, what's your game plan to win? Uh, we're gonna pretty much get our best players, best best athletes on the field, and we're just gonna cram them down the other team's throat. We're gonna destroy them. It's not gonna even be funny. The final game begins. Seniors and juniors face off as winners of the previous rounds. But after a tough, very close game, the seniors take the win again. Monday starts off the week-long event of Spirit Week. Students dress up based on each day's theme to show their school spirit. It's Friday, the last day of Spirit Week and the start of the big weekend. During the day, the Spirit Squad goes around the classes handing out blue and gold beads and spreading school spirit. 
In the meantime, student council members are getting ready for everything coming up. This is like the second craziest day of the year, and then tomorrow will be the craziest day of the year because that's the homecoming uh, dance. So we're just trying to get through the day. It's only like 9 in the morning, I think, so it's going to be long, but we're ready. We're ready for it. Homecoming week has been amazing because of our student council and Mrs. O'Harris. And we're ending it with some pancakes. Look at this, she does it all, and she's making pancakes. It's the end of the day and time for the pep rally. Hundreds of kids from all grades go to the gym to see all the fun things they have planned. From seeing the homecoming court to class dodgeball and some intense tug of war, the pep rally really gets kids hyped up in full school spirit. After school is the homecoming parade where people can go see clubs, students, and the homecoming floats walk down the street. We talked to students who worked on the floats and members of the community to know their thoughts on the parade and homecoming week. I have been going to float building since my sophomore year and it's always been a super fun experience. You hang out with people that you wouldn't ordinarily hang out with, you work really well with everyone else, and we had a lot of really great ideas this year. It's very creative, our float is, it turned out awesome, and I think, if I do say so myself, we have a pretty good shot at winning. Homecoming week is so cool. I love um, the spirit week and the enthusiasm the school has for it. And the pep assembly is just really so much fun. Um, and then, you know, the game is really good. So, go Hornets! Now it's time for the big homecoming football game. Everyone has been waiting for this exciting game against Monroe. We talk to students, teachers, and players as the game goes on. How do you feel about homecoming? I think it's always just a really fun time of the year, and we've been sitting here reminiscing about our own homecoming from in the past. Um, I think we're gonna crush it. I think it's gonna be the rowdiest game our student section's seen all year. Homecoming week has been an absolute blast. Our student section is awesome. I give it back up to our senior class and the school spirit here, Principal Raft, everyone. It's a great place. Oh, I love homecoming. Such an exciting time of the year. Uh, so much going on from Sunday to this Saturday night. So much going on, and we have such a great group of people putting it on. We still hear us, our student council, and all the kids involved. What's your favorite thing about homecoming? Favorite thing? I have to say that the game tonight, the game. I do like the pep rally that we had in the afternoon, but Friday night football, it's a great time, great environment. At halftime, seniors win the float building contest. Then Michael Lance and Brianna Kamara Sulak are crowned homecoming king and queen after all the votes are counted. I was shocked to hear, it was it's just so great to be out there and hear all the support from the, from the students, from the staff. It was a really incredible experience. So we're all shocked. But it also felt really validating and we feel respected and honored because we work really hard at being the people we are today and you know it was really nice to feel the support and the love so and Michael's the my, Michael's face it was awesome just like pure shock and joy that was the best part of the whole thing honestly in the end Celine takes the win 28 to 6 this game was a huge success It's Saturday night, the last day of the homecoming week, and hundreds of kids are going to the dance in the school. With flashing lights, good music, and nice dancing, it was another great dance to end the year's homecoming week. Homecoming week is a week filled with fun, games, and school spirit. It's an event that teachers, students, and community members can all enjoy. 
if you think about it, like it's students making this and like happen. And it's just like, we're still learning ourselves. So like all of this, we take it one day at a time and we have to be creative because we really don't know how well like all of our DIY like little decorations for homecoming are gonna turn out until really the day of. And if they don't turn out right, then we have to adapt. And it's just like, that's probably the most stressful thing. But at the same time, it's good knowing that like students can all work together to make it happen. And this 2018 homecoming week was another great one to remember forever.